are ready for the start of a big three-game series here in Baton Rouge. Ole Miss at number 17, LSU have a lot on the line. Mike Bianco's team, four games under 500 in the SEC with six to go. But boy, did they respond last weekend with a sweep of Missouri just to keep the heartbeat going here in the last couple weeks of league play. It could be 2 nothing quickly quick. if you make a mistake to Mr. Cruz. It's not just about bombs when you're right on time. Uh -oh. oh, this one's hit high and deep. Going to the right field wall, gone. There it is, a two-run home run for Dylan Cruz, his 17th of the year. This could be the first hit, long run. Two guys coming in, can't get it. Lay down for it. And now McCants is digging for second. The throw is in time, but sliding around is McCants to get in safely. The 0-1. There's a breaking ball. Back up the middle into center field, base hit. Denhurst delivers. McCants scores. Coming in to score is Kramer. And we are tied at two. Swung on, ground ball, that's up the middle, and that's going to get through for a base hit. One run scores, they're going to try to get the second guy home, Dunhurst, he'll score standing up as the throw comes in, and after two outs, what a rally for Ole Miss, now leading 4-2 to two over LSU. And unfortunately, it looks uh -oh. like we have a delay on Yes, our we heads. do. 4-2 to two here in the bottom of the third, nobody out, and an 0-2 count on Call your Cranford. They have postponed this game, and we will resume it and finish it at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Dylan DeLucia threw 38 pitches yesterday, so Mike Bianco has made the decision to bring him right back. And you're talking about an uber-competitive kid who really wanted the ball again with a chance to get a huge game one win here in this series. Here we go, and that's a strikeout. Cranford goes down, but DeLucia is... Razor sharp here, has yet to throw a ball, and he's got the K-Strut going. One ball, two strikes to Joe Bear. Ole Miss leading 5-2, bottom of the seventh. Swing and a miss. He struck out of the slider after Dunhurst was rolling it back to the mound. Nine strikeouts for DeLucia. He ties his career best. Boy, he's been rolling here. We just got a really good stretch in today, and that was really it. I mean, we just stretched for like 30 minutes, and then we got on the mound and just went with it. And I just didn't want to get pulled, so I was just ready to go. Congratulations, but as like we just said, the day's not done. Yeah, you gotta enjoy it. Usually I say enjoy it. You really can't enjoy this one, right? Like you gotta like refocus now, 50 minutes away. Swung on, lifted right field, pretty well stroked. Pearson going back, and that one's out of the yard. Solo Homer opposite way. And the Rebels take a one to nothing lead. They don't accept right field seat homers at the box. Uh-oh. And now Kevin Graham taking it deep. Goodbye, gone. Home run, Kevin Graham. His 10th of the year. Back-to-back -back homers against Fontenot here in the first. Dunhurst hits a fly ball to right. That's pretty well struck. That's at the wall. That's gone. Home run number three. And a game for Ole Miss, and it's four to nothing. First two down, one two to Bianco. Swing and a miss, off speed away, and he strikes out, and that will end the inning. And that's strikeout number five for Hunter Elliott. You talk about pulling the string on a changeup. McManus just did not recognize that pitch. Pulled down the line, and that's past Bianco into left field. Over the bullpen mound, it's going to rattle around in the corner. One run will score, two runs will score. As Camp Alderman delivers for the first time this weekend, a two-run double, and it's eight rip. Ole Miss. This one hit to right off the bat of bench. Hit deep, too, and that is going to go. Goodbye, home run. you got to be kidding me. Wow, this team is exploding here in Baton Rouge this weekend. The 0-2. Hit to left. Going back. Graham makes the catch on the warning track, and that does it. Domination. I mean, we won two games. We won the series. We're going to go for the sweep tomorrow. We're going to do it. Bring out the brooms. I'm proud of you. And uh, unlike what I said to you three and a half hours ago, you get to enjoy this a little bit, right? But, man, we've come too far, and it is too late to just be content with this, yeah. right? I'm telling you, we need tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. But more importantly, we need to be ourselves. 
you know, not the pressure like we need it, but we need to play like we've been playing. You know, and, and when we play like that, we're as good as anybody in the country. And I just would like to continue to play that way. Fifth inning action, Ole Miss at the plate. 3-3 three, three ball game. This brings on the D.H. Alderman, who came into the game with an eight-game hitting streak. He's over two. A fly ball to Cruz. He's backpedaling quickly, looking up, looking up. Nobody can reach it. It's a home run over the center field wall. And on that swing, Kemp Alderman moves his hitting streak to nine games. Not going. Here's the pitch swung on. Fly ball, left field. Shot, yeah, he's hit one deep, deep, deep. It's out of here. Five rows deep, and Peyton's got a two-run homer on an 0-2 pitch, and the Rebels go up 7-3. to three. Ooh, that got him. The bases are loaded. Jordan Thompson is nipped by a pitch. And so the Tigers have loaded the bases after two were out. John Gaddis comes out of the bullpen. This left-hander inherits a bases loaded situation. So a big moment for Collier Cranford. Can this sub 200 hitter find a base hit here? He is first pitch swinging and lifts it in foul ground on the right side. And the rally is done. Johnson is going to come out of the bullpen right now. So Ole Miss goes to the closer. The Tigers are trying to rally in the bottom of the eighth inning. Right now, it's Ole Miss eight, LSU five. The pitch, swing and a miss. And that is all for LSU here in the eighth. That's a base hit. It falls on the grass to the left side. Dylan Cruz will stop at third. And now the tying run comes to the plate. It's Tyler McManus who already is homered. Advantage to the pitcher, Brandon Johnson, with a count of one ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, the game is over. Brandon Johnson records the save, and the Ole Miss Rebels have that sweep, the first in their history. I'm proud of you. You know, 10 days ago, it didn't look good, right? And you guys hung together and kept fighting. And we got more, all right? But, but enjoy this, because you deserve this. I promise you to the, guy, the people at home, uh, y'all's heart rates are not as high as mine when I'm on the mound. Uh, but it don't always got to be pretty, as long as the job gets done. That's what Coach B tells me, that's what we did today. So, uh, yeah, heart rates can get up a little bit. It's all right, as long as it's coming out with the win. I don't even know if hot's a way to describe it. Insane. Uh, best we've looked all year. Shout out to these guys, pitching it well, hitting it well, just playing really good baseball. So, uh, don't let the Rebs get hotter.